you see i entered nandan after maybe 7 years mm, after 7 years i was very much a part of this i mean uh, part of the crowd that used to hang around here and one of the uh, good things that happened was that we could put uh, the it kolkata international film festival on a farm footing i remember the early days when we had problems with fiaf and they took us as one sort of some sort of a provincial group and they said we have the delhi one why do we need you so we had to tell them that the uh, calcutta has much more enthusiastic viewers viewers audience enlightened audience and um, we needed recognition here on our own terms uh, gautam the uh, smart talk then gautam ghosh can always smart talk them Vashant Chaudhary was a bit back up, but where it came to the paperwork, so the basic point was we had to agree on a schedule of dates, and I remember the dates were fixed at 10th to 17th. And in these last 20 years, 10th to 17th has not always been the best of times. Uh, we have a 10th to 17th when we have floods, 10th to 17th when it clashed with pujas and all sorts of things, but we had to stick to the dates. and having stuck to it for 10 years it's now part of the film circuit and there are lots of other things that i could talk but so the short point was the moment i came out of the lift i they were just hijacked and said come inside please and i said if i don't go in and chat with them they'll take it otherwise i'm not with them anymore but i hold very fond memories of nandan the film circuit the film festival and therefore i am apologizing on behalf of or uh, uh, with, with some sort of an explanation it's not a justification an explanation why i got late about input and the public broadcaster i would submit that it's a natural partnership public broadcasting and documentaries were made for each other but it's all right to say it in as 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 a as a conceptual within a conceptual framework but when it comes to work uh, then we have issues right from the beginning uh, we used to have here's my rival they used to they used to organize a cine cine festival cine club festival when we used to organize so we used to have mutual problems and we sorted it out anyway so uh, where we stand now is the monopoly of doordarshan that lasted till about 2005 is not there anymore it's loud and clear so doordarshan went through a throes of existentialist crisis uh, for about 6 years it went down and it tried to become a cheap imitator of uh, the sas bahu serial syndrome i have my severe objections against it and i made it clear that while i do agree that people have a fundamental right to their own entertainment and i'm sure that any broadcaster worth his salt must be prepared for some fun and games for 2 to 3 hours in the evening to relieve people of their daily misery it cannot become the driving force of a public broadcaster and uh, there have been battles in this regard but as i stand before you after 3 years of struggle i can assure you that the reinvention is like this um we have conceded with between 7 and 10 we need to have some amount of entertainment and any shying away from that holding a science class between 7 and 10 7 and 10 will not get us audience and people are within the right to ask for whatever entertainment they want as long as it's not debasing but and the 7 and 10 can go in a loop in the morning or at part of it so that accounts for about 5 hours the day is 24 so we have about 18 to 19 hours more on which we could work now in trying to prepare separate slots for documentary every possible hurdle has been encountered i found a very strange reluctance within the organization to go in for documentary on the grounds that it's very pedantic i don't think so i said no i don't and then i came to understand that there was a fixed arrangement with only one organization called IDPA Indian Documentary Producers and Mike Pandey 
Mike is an extraordinary human being. I have no objections on having an agreement with he and the IDPA. But I do have objections about not including other aggregators of documentaries. So this is the second part. So PSBT comes after this and with PSBT, Public Services Broadcasting Trust, we have a lasting agreement with them where we pay a rather high fee per documentary. But PSBT returns this to us in the form of quality documentaries that we select with a lot of care. In other words, PSBT bags the best prizes year after year. So, but then there is a quarrel going on, I, I have to admit, between Durdarshan and PSBT, which I have to resolve. But PSBT becomes a second aggregator. Now, do we keep quiet at that? We have stretched out and between me and Ranadas Gupta, uh, he is my senior, but and he knows the job far better than I do. But I know how to tackle difficult people. I have not mentioned him, uh, difficult people, that's been, so we have been struggling to come to some sort of a relationship and uh, it has met with all sorts of reactions from um, gentle objections to why input, why not uh, uh, Kodai Kanal Cine Club, all types of questions have been raised. Now, one um, offer that I made to him was why don't you come on free? So all the objections fall flat. I can give 6 lakhs to 8 lakhs to PSBT because it was done 20, 15 years ago. Now if you try to come for a 2 lakh agreement per documentary agreement with anybody else, a thousand questions are raised. Fair enough. I said why don't you come on free? So he, he and his organization came up free uh, with an offer saying, uh, how long has it taken Mr. Daskota? More than a year. More than a year. So you know where we work, where we work. I have an explanation uh, for this about why these things stay. Well, once they are set, let me assure you ladies and gentlemen, I wasted 40 of the best years of my life in trying to tackle public affairs. All I can tell you in hindsight is it takes a lot of time to break the first ground. After that, it normally continues. That's the first thing. I remember Yadav was uh, for his benefit. The first time we approached the, ministry, uh, the department of INCA for a proper grant, finance department where I went on data asked as many questions as is possible. You have heard of that apocryphal story of Shatit Rai's Pathet Pachari. Uh, when, when Vidhan Rai called, Shatit Babu went to him, Vidhan Babu asked for Mark Amon and all that and finally the story was that he called SN Ray, Chief Secretary and said, uh, Vidhan Rai style that he is there, you know, he comes from a very good family. You know, open the Kishore and all that. So advertising it chilo, cinemati no manache, ki manate chai che. Dekhene. So Chatir Bhav followed him to the Chief Secretary's chamber, the hallowed chamber. And SN Roy gave him a scrutinizing bureaucratic look. What was the proposal? So the story goes, I've never been able to prove it either way, is uh, that uh, the topic was Pathe Pachari. So the Proposal was for so the file went around all the places until it was decided that somebody has to finance it. This doesn't fall in finance, this doesn't fall in the, the story is that it went to PWD roads. So, uh, huh? Pot, pot. So, the, the, our imagination, so this is what we deal with. Uh, that publicity and then finally coming back here, even in the uh, film festival, what you see today as a chief minister led initiative. So it was not as smooth as that, as smooth as that, with terrible, terrible time, with terrible, terrible time. I mean, I'd like to forget about it and finally we found a way out by asking corporates for money. And whatever easy things, had, difficult things had to be done was done on corporate funding. And whatever was rule bound according to the sacred books is to go to the government account. So we had this way of managing that. If somebody has to be sent immediately to Bombay to pick up cans, 
do it on patron money. It's a that sort of thing. So these things take time, but I'm hopeful that we'll be able to come across and form a whole series of partnerships. Ladies and gentlemen, the television of today will not be the television of tomorrow. Good productions would then have to choose between different theatres. The theatre is almost going. It's become a very expensive proposition, theatrical, uh, theatre uh, theater screenings. It went and moved in favour of tele uh, the, the television. In television, select documentaries are picked up by the private sector also. But the public sector, uh, public service broadcaster has an obligation. Uh, but as I told you, the obligation has to be negotiated amongst uh, a lot of uh, complications. I feel that as we are moving along, linear TV has its limitations, but I'll talk about that in uh, my next place. What I mean is, uh, when we were students, uh, the computer of Jadhapur University was about the size of this room, if not bigger. And it produced less memory than my mobile handset. But that, that was how we progressed. And the paper that used to, we used to feed in, were used later as bus tickets. Bus tickets. So that was life. And from there we moved on to something called the personal computer, PC, standalone. The PC is also going to give way to the smartphone because people are on the move all the time and my latest estimate is that as against 168 million TV households, there are 200 million smartphones and tablets. We have 860 million registered mobiles out of which 200 million, one-fourth, a little less than one-fourth, has turned to smartphone and tablets. What it simply means that capable of taking in audiovisual material without buffering and showing. The question is the reach technology, we are fighting it out. There are different options, we are fighting it out. But remember the audience, the mechanics for cinema, the mechanics of theatre were different and they had to learn that they were different the hard way through camera work and others. So the audience and the mechanics of showing a narrative on the television screen where one has already settled into the couch and that of showing it on a handset where memory spans and attention spans are rather limited would be completely different. They have some similarities like the basic theatre always has with the basic uh, cinema. But besides the basics and the dramatics and the theatricals, the complete paradigm shift has to be thought of. So till today we are talking, when you see the documentaries, they are all tailored for television. 25 minutes, 26 minutes, which means television time. We have to move on there to, to, to much shorter ones. We have to talk in terms of 7 minutes. The 7 minutes is the total span of attention. 6 to 7 minutes to 10 minutes. And we have to come out with different narrative. Before I conclude, let me thank uh, input on everyone associated with it for taking this bold initiative. I can assure you that I have spent three years fighting with my colleagues, which is incidentally uh, a very exciting sport where I am concerned. Uh, I know I am, uh, I enjoy it in my own way because uh, of various uh, challenges that they throw up. They quote the rule book all the time, as if God took special leave and wrote the rule books anyway. So we will get input on Dudarshan. And another program that we wish to take them on is what we call the NREP. In other words, we have started dubbing on a large scale, dubbing on a large scale, uh, short films and documentaries. Documentaries makes dubbing easier because most of the time you need a voiceover and just about four characters at all, if at all. Whereas films take a lot of vo different voices. So documentaries have been the first pick. And as part of the NREP, the first successful program that we are airing is an old program that has been shown on Hindi TV a lot of times, but has never been shown on regional cinema. 
a timeless source of information, Bharate Khoj. Bharate Khoj has started coming out in six, seven languages. It's already been shown in Marathi. So this is what we call the national exchange program. If we can fit in documentaries within a national exchange program of dubbing, because anyway from Rwandan we have to go in for a primary translation or from English we have to do a translation anyway. The good film audience can always see and read the subtitling, though it's a game between watching and hitting the subtitle. Dubbing makes it a little easier if lip syncs and others can be made to work. Having thought of, the, thought of it, we would like to submit that even this component could be perhaps given out to those who know better. If this works, I don't know whether it will work. If it works, we will bring in a paradigm shift where production, support and exhibition of documentaries made by premier bodies and associations are concerned. These words, I thank you once again. God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Joshua, for those uh, words of optimism and instilling optimism amongst the audience here as far as documentaries are concerned. Uh, we who are associated with uh, the input initiative here, OBJ 